Welcome to a video from the DigitalLifestyle.com. We have another Windows 10 build to look at. This is a Redstone 3 build, 16176 for Windows Insiders on the fast ring. And at this early stage of Redstone 3 rollout or development, there's not a huge amount of changes. There's certainly no new features, but there are a couple of uh, a couple of minor changes and some known issues. So here you can see down the bottom there, there's the build string 16176. So we're into that 16 range now. We're on the... Um, Redstone 3 process. So, what's new in this build? Well, like I said, it's mainly under the hood changes, so um, you're not going to see anything too visual. Th there is support, and I'll show you a little picture of this from the uh, Windows 10 blog, uh, the Windows blog. There is support for um, COM ports to be accessed through the uh, Linux subsystem for Windows, which means for anybody that's doing any Linux dev or anything Linux rise on Windows 10, then uh, you can access all those COM ports. So serial devices, uh, audio devices, those kind of things can be accessed directly from there, which uh, is good if you're using that kind of thing. Some other changes. Uh, if you hold the power button down for seven seconds, you, it'll trigger a bug, a bug check if you've got one of the newer uh, machines. I guess that's good for developers who are struggling um, or hardware developers who are having issues and uh, you can use that for debugging. Uh, narrator's back, that's been fixing again. They fixed an issue with some apps and games crashing due to a misconfigured advertising ID. Uh, that's actually a build, uh, an issue that's come from an early build, actually, in, in the Redstone 2 development, and that's been carried over, but that's now been fixed. Uh, they've had fr they fixed frame drops when opening UWP apps. They've fixed issues with Action Center. Uh, could get into a state where dim dis dismissing one notification unexpectedly dismisses multiple. So if you go through here and... Uh, get rid of one of those and previously that could actually get rid of loads of them and in this case it didn't so that's good uh they fixed an issue with the clock and calendar flyout they fixed an issue where with the previous redstone 3 build that the surface book would do a disc check after waking up because it was actually crashing during his sleep and they fixed uh, uh, a Win32 app text issue. Now, there are some known issues, and the biggest one is probably this um, Centennial one. This is desktop bridge uh, tool. So um, apps like um, Slack and Evernote, and even I'm using you know, Arduino Editor, that would uh, cause the machine to crash. I won't do that now because I'll lose my recording as I'm going through this. So just be careful. And if you're, you know, as as ever, if any of these are essential, then you probably shouldn't be on the fast ring at this stage. You uh, should be on the slower release preview ring. But these are the things that you take when you're uh, working uh, on the inside of program, the fast ring. So there's some other issues. Double clicking Defender icon doesn't open it. Um, let me show you. It doesn't do anything. Right click open and there it pops so there's just minor issues like that um there's still an issue that's been around for a while service 3 won't install a build if the sd card is inserted so make sure you've not got that inserted and uh, ftl developer tools are not working um so those are the known issues and um the changes so there's not a huge amount of changes um but you know, early days in the process, it's all under the hood stuff, and we should start to see some new features going in future builds. What is really good is that uh, the creators update only shipped April 11th, and we're already on the second Redstone 3 build, so that's a good sign. Right, well, thanks for watching this video. Check out the mobile and the other Windows 10 build videos on our YouTube channel.